not that easy. Hello, dear friends. So as you have already seen in the intro, sometimes leveling isn't that easy. Oops. <laughs> but uh, on a resin printer, it's not, not a big issue. So it doesn't matter if it's, if it's the DAS that uh, I'm going to do it on here now or other one. Uh, I think it will be similar. So I think it's okay if you just follow the steps more or less the like I'm doing them. Uh, I have already emptied my, my vat. So we need to take it out. And then the tools we're going to need, or that I think makes sense to use, are these here. Sandpaper. Why? Because after using the printer for some amount of time, you might have some scratches on the, on the build plate and they might damage your foil. Yeah, or your, even your screen. And so um, I don't know if your printer came with a piece of sandpaper. If not, I think you should have one lying around here. This one here has, for instance, uh, 240 grit size. And so you just take the, the uh, build plate and rub it over the surface until you cannot feel any scratches uh, anymore. You might even go over the edge here yeah, to just take care that everything is smoothed out again. Then the other thing that we're going to need are these paper strips. I will already put them in position. Like that. Then my printer has a, a touch screen. There is also a version without a touch screen. And because it makes it easier for me to operate here, I will do it on the software. So I will start a program that helps me uh, record my, my screen. Okay, so here we are. So I will, I will switch on my, my printer now. And I'm connected here by uh, LAN cable and I will start the software and then you will see the screen. So I'm using here uh, DD Starter, but uh, your printer might run on G2 box or some other slicer that doesn't really matter, you know. So as you see here, there are, those are the printers that they have. I have this one here now. So I will double click on it. I will go over here and you see this is my printer. And um, then I will go to debugging. And the basic settings are on 150,000. I already, prior to, do, to this film, I already uh, tested out uh, which distance I need. So it takes a while. I, I will not do it on screen here now. That will take too long. Um, you have to go up and down several times because on 150,000 uh, it was there was still uh, quite a, a gap, you know? And so I went up and down, and so so I went for instance like I went down, then I looked at the gap, I raised the number here, then I uh, in a in a low position I pressed uh, motor reset, so it went uh, to the upper uh, to the to the to the position that it is now and there's an end stop there so it you know the the distance down accounts it from there i don't know if your printer has uh, two two end stops this one only has uh, one yeah and uh, so i i think it took like seven eight trials to to reach this number so now i am at uh, 154,900 and uh, this is for me the, the perfect position. So this is now the, the, the build plate that I have. I will open up the screws because I'm not happy with my, with my bed at the moment. And one side 
it is always a little bit thinner you know the 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 base the base layers is always uh, thinner on one side and thicker on the other so i want to re-level it and uh, i thought i'd just make a film about it and uh, so i will open up here the the, the screws a bit and just for the ones you know i I will do one one up and down for the ones that that want to see it. So this is now here uh, very loose. You know you might have a different uh, setup. Y y yours might have the your printer might have uh, the screws on the side. So this one here has them in this position here. Yeah. I will describe later why it has six six screws. But I open them up all a bit. Yeah. So it can so it can uh, move around like that. But do not open them up too much, otherwise your build plate will crush or fall down onto the LCD screen. Okay, so let me do this once. I will, I will erase this four here. And I will do this move it up and down once so you can see uh, that there's a gap. You know, for the ones that have exactly the stars uh, printer. And so let's go, let's go down. So, <clears throat> and why did I put four pieces of paper there? Because I will later push down the, the build plate, uh, tr trying to push it down on all four sides in a way that all those uh, straps of paper, they are tight. So you will see in a moment that the printer, uh, that the, the build plate will have a, quite a gap. As you see here, there's a big gap now. I don't know if it's, if it's visible for you, but it's, it's a big gap. It's, it's about like that. So I did this up and down and up and down uh, several times, always uh, raising the, the number here more and more until I reach the the distance that I have now. So, okay, so to, to, to try it out, I will go up to the, to the most up position to, to reaching the end stop. You see, this is now the zero position. And now we can try out this 154,900. Uh, uh, oh my goodness, is that so complicated? And um, what we are aiming for is that the, the distance with the open screws is sunk down halfway. So when you have the screws on the side and you know this, uh, the distance that it can slide up and down, uh, uh, the, the screw should be in the middle. And here I want to have a gap that is only half the size as it is now, then it is okay. So it sunk down halfway. Now the gap here is only half the size as it was before. So what I'm going to do now, I will try to stand up a bit. Maybe I'm not in camera then anymore, but it uh, doesn't matter. So we, we try to press down the build plate in, a, in an even way. And then we, we try to get a... Yeah, you see, this is what we're aiming for, that the that the paper doesn't uh, that you cannot put that you cannot pull out the paper anymore. Yeah, here I have to press down a little bit more on that side, and yeah, so it's not gonna be that easy because here I have to press down a little bit more than on the other side. So here it's good now. Here it's also good. Here's also also good also good. Now we just tighten the the screws carefully, one by one. And you see, I'm doing it over cross. So 
So if you're changing tires from summer to winter, you got to do something similar. You always try to, to close them over grass. Okay. So now let's test if we are happy. You see, I, I cannot pull out the piece of paper anymore. I didn't apply too much force, so I was really gentle. And uh, on my printer here, those bigger screws here in the middle, those are the ones that secure the four, the four other ones. Yeah. And so I will now tighten these and then I'm good to go. Then we can put in, uh, uh, we can put back the vat. Two. Okay, so let's go up to the to the to the end stop. And we can take out the paper. I will take out the build plate for a moment and I will I will see if these screws are really tight because those are the ones securing the other ones. Okay, and then I think everything should be okay. Great. So let's give it a try. Put it back and go down again. And everything should be okay. Maybe we do it now this time, uh, uh, this direction, just to have something under there. Great. Yeah, I hope it wasn't too boring. <laughs> this is now just uh, something that you have to do. It's a routine. So if you see that your print, you know, the, the base, the base layer uh, is some kind of crooked or you hear some funny noise that the, the, the build player tries to go deeper than it should, then you should uh, do the bed leveling procedure. Maybe some prints are not sticking to the bed. So you see here they're tight. Yeah. And uh, so I have a split system. So what is going on now on my software here on the, on, the, on the computer is not what is going on here. So for the ones that have this printer, they now have to write down the number. I already wrote it down here on the table and they will also have to put it in here. Because at the moment I'm controlling the printer by the software, but later uh, when you're using it standalone and you have a, some different um, settings here uh, that are not uh, corresponding with the ones that you have now um, uh, typed into your software here, then you're going to have a problem. Maybe your printer is the same, which is might not be a DAS one. Okay, so I hope you liked it. <laughs> and. Uh, yeah, the next one will be about cleaning the vat. Somebody requested it. Bye-bye.